Well, foremost, I want to start out by giving all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles for their edification and knowledge. And to Wadi Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, for putting in the spirit of the elders and apostles so we can be edified and learn through the truth and knowledge of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua. Call Holy Yahweh, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bashim, Rakakadash. Give all praise to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahshua, Bashim, Rakakadash. Isaiah 29 and 6. Thou shalt be visited of the Lord of hosts with thunder and with earthquake and great noise with storm and tempest, which is a violent storm and flames of devouring fire. Man. That ultimate devouring fire will be related to those missiles, but you've seen a lot of other things happen in earthquakes, violent storms, thunder, thundering lightning. So you're seeing different parts of that all over, man. That's happening pretty much on a day to day basis. Let's go to um, I'm going to go to 28 and 2. Behold, the Lord have a mighty and strong one, which is a tempest of hail and, destroy, and a, a destroying storm, as the flood of a mighty waters overflowing shall cast down to the earth with hand so all these things the Lord is going to send down man ultimately the nuclear missiles are going to be that real that real tempest of all um, of that fire and wind man but the Lord is sending these plagues of um, different things different weather calamities happening all over man he's sending um dest destroying storms mighty waters floods and different things man and this is pretty much this is a thing that's happening every day man Let's go to um, Matthews 10.34. Matthews 10.34. Matthews 10.34. Think not that I come... Think not that I come to send peace on earth. I come not to send peace, but a sword. And that sword is that judgment, man. Part of that sword also is division, man. We see in that civil unrest, division, Matthew 3, 24 through 27, Math, uh, Sherlock and Mark 3, 24 and 27, and Matthew 12, 25 and, and 26. So you see in that division, that's part of the judgment that's set, causing division among, within the structures of government, causing division among uh, the ranks of uh Social and racial and, and social classes of people, man. So you seeing, you seeing that, you seeing that uh, peace is not being set forth, man. Let's go to um, Amos three, six and seven. Amos three, six and seven. Amos 3, 6, and 7. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city and the, and, and the people be not afraid? And the trumpet is that warning. Shall there be evil in the city and the Lord have not done it? Of course the Lord has done it. Everything is filtered by Yahweh Bashim Yosha ultimately. So if there's evil in the city, it's because the Lord has done it, man. 7. Surely the Lord Yahweh will do nothing but he will reveal his secrets and to his service, his service are the prophets, man. The prophets. Um, Ecclesiasticus or thirty nine twenty four, for his ways are made his ways are made or his ways are made plain to the holy, which are the prophets, but a stumbling block to the wicked, everybody else, man. That's thirty nine twenty four of uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus. So his ways are made, the secrets and the mysteries are given to the prophets, man. His servants, man. They are the spokesmen. They are the voice. They are the voice piece of Yahweh Bashim Yosha, man. Let's go to um. I will not. Let's go to uh, Hebrews ten and thirty one. Hebrews ten thirty one. Hebrews ten thirty one. 
Hebrews 10 and 31. It is a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God. It's a fearful thing, man, because the Lord, the scripture talked about in Psalms, the Lord is known for what? His judgment, man. And different types of judgment of the Halabashim Yasha. So he's known for his judgment, man. So it's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living God, ultimately. Let's go to... Um, Ezekiel 3 and 17. Ezekiel 3, 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. A watchman is one who is on guard into the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the words at, at my mouth and give them warning for me. So that's, the, so that's the prophets giving warning to the house of Israel, man. They're that watchman because they're watching out for what? The things to come, man. Be sober, be vigilant, be, uh, be aware, man. Be circumspective. Be circumspective, not as um, fools, but as wise. Redeeming the times because they're evil. Ephesians 5, 15, and 16. So the ones that the Lord put in to uh, be that spokesman, to be the uh, the watchman, uh, is watching, they watching for the things to come because no one knows that hour, no one knows that time or that hour, not even the angels, not even the sun, only, but only the Father, man. Because this is his judgment, is his um this is his movie, man. Let me get um Psalms. I quoted something from Psalms. Let me see. Well, here's one. God judges the righteous, and God is angry with the wicked every day. He's angry at the wicked every day, man. That's why, ultimately, he's, he's beginning to visit the world which he has made. Measure thou Tom diligently in itself. The Lord is visiting, beginning to visit the world which he has made because he's angry at the wicked, man. The Lord is tired of seeing what he's seeing, man. So he's executing, executing judgment, man. Let me, um, I want to find a verse real quick. Just a second. Psalms 9 and 16, Shalakia 9 and 16. For the Lord is known by judgment, by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higion Salah. So they're going to be, so the Lord is known for his judgment. Different types of judgment. A good example of that, um, um, Ecclesiastes 39 and um, 28. Let me get it real fast. I'll give you an example. The Lord is known for his judgment. And the wicked are going to be caught in their snares, man. This is 39 of um, 28. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes, in the time of destruction, they pour out the force and appease the wrath of him that made them. The fire, the hail, the famine, the death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth, wild beasts, scorpions, serpents, sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. So all these things were executed to implement, to punish the wicked, man. And they fulfilling the purpose of the one who created them for the, um, for the one that created them. And, and appease the one that created them. Appease 
the one that created them by executing judgment them as, um, as set forth. Um, let's go back to um, let's go to Ecclesiasticus. We're going to go to Ecclesiasticus. Here we go, Ecclesiasticus. Ecclesiasticus, um, actually 12 and 1. Remember now the Creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. So, remember in the days of the old, man. Why the, why the evil still far away, man? You know, you know so, so repent and do um and begin to um um begin to um begin to um, um acknowledge y'all about Shem Yisrael. Why the evil days are still at at, at bay? <clears throat> Let's go to um. Go to 8 and 11, or Ecclesiastes 8 and 11. Because the sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men are fully to set, is fully set in them to do evil. Man. Because certain, certain things don't happen um, at a certain time period, it's pretty, pretty much as most expected. And they're gonna. Um, they fig they figure that um, they can continue doing what they're doing. There'd be no consequence of their actions. But everything has a time and season, huh? You know. So um, um, so they're gonna continue doing certain things, man, related to evil works, man. You know. Mm -hmm. Go to. Um, Ecclesiastes 9 and 12. For man also knoweth not his time as the fishes that are taken in the evil net, and as birds that are caught in the snare, so are the sons of men snared in the evil times, when it falleth suddenly upon them. You don't know when it's going to happen. You know, a lot of things can, come, can happen to you unawares, man. When you least expect it, man. Because um, relating to judgment, you don't know when that day is, man. Only the Lord knows that, man. So no man knows, man. That's why in 12 and 1, you have to do certain things while the evil's not ahead and while the opportunities, while the opportunity is, is there for you to um, do certain things. Because you all know, because unexpectedly certain things can happen. And you might not have the ch and that me and you didn't have the chance to do certain things as far as example repent, man. Because you don't know what your situation will be in, 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 in the times. You know you might not have the opportunity, so you get, get it while you can. You know, get it while you can. Get it while the late the uh, grace and liberty and grace period is open for you to do it. Because not uh, 8 and 11, because certain things are not executed expediently. You know, they figured that, that uh, son of men are, e are, are continue to do evil, man. But they're going to continue to do evil because they figure 
nothing's going to happen to me. But what they fail to realize is there's a time and season for everything, man. It might not happen that time or the hour or that day, but it will happen, man, eventually. Let's go to... Um, First of Samuel's two and six. First of Samuel's two and six. The Lord killeth, he make it alive, he bring it down to the grave, he bring it up. So the Lord does all those things, man. The Lord does all those things. Go to um Go to eat glasses three and eight. I want to read three and one too. We'll go with Second Peter's three three. The reason why I said that three three because they mock and ridicule that. Um, from a spiritual aspect, certain things are happening because spiritually. They said, and uh, in the last days, people come after their, their own lust, man, saying, "Where's the promise of this coming?" I guess things continue as normal, man. And they mocking and scuffing, thinking they got all the time in the world to repent or acknowledge certain things, man, but not realizing that um, certain things are manifesting from a spiritual aspect. But. You know, majority, unfortunately, majority of people are not going to see it from that aspect. And they mock and ridicule and they don't believe anyway. You know what I mean? They don't believe that a uh, higher power is doing these things, man. So let's go to three and eight. Three and eight. Time to love, a time to hate, a time of war, a time of peace. We in a time of war, man. It's not peace, man. That means it's, it's a certain time. It's a certain. It's a. Um, it's a time and place for everything, man. You know. We in we in very complex times, man. You know. We in a time of um, a lot of um, a lot of conflict, a lot of uncertainty, a lot of things from socially, economically. So read that again. It's a time of love, a time to hate, a time of war, a time of peace. Number one, to everything there is a season and a time to, to every purpose under the heavens. So it's a time and purpose for everything, man. That compliments with 8 and, eight, 8 and 11, man. Because you're not going to be executed on the wicked sh that you do at that certain specific time and, and season that you do. It doesn't mean judgment still ain't going to happen upon you. It just might happen at a later time. Everything has its has its time and season, the purpose of its time and season. Go to um Deuteronomy thirty two and thirty nine. Deuteronomy thirty two and thirty nine. Deuteronomy 32, 39. This is Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I am He, and there is no God. All the other guys are nothing but idols, but there's only one God with me. I kill, I make alive, I wound, and I heal. That goes with 1 Samuel 2 and 6. Neither is there any that can deliver deliver you, deliver out of my hand, man. So there's only one living God, man. That's the one who created everything, the creator. Let's go to... Um,
go to um, Chronicles, uh, Second Chronicles, fifteen and thirteen. Second Chronicles, fifteen and thirteen. That whosoever will not seek the Lord God of Israel should be put to death, whether small, great, whether man or woman. So, ones who don't seek the Lord, man, ultimately go what? Either perish or repent, man. Or either repent or perish, man. That's specifically talking about the nation of Israel, specifically, because the Lord chose us a certain people, for He's the God of Israel, man. His people, the chosen of his people, relates to Deuteronomy 14 and 2, Deuteronomy 7 and 6, man. Um, let's go to um, Isaiah 45 and 7. Isaiah 45 and 7. Isaiah 45 and 7. I, for, I form the light, I create darkness, I make peace, I make evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. I'm going to read that again. I create the light, I create darkness, the light, the dark. I make peace, I create evil. So the Lord can create all things, man. He, create, he can create peace, he can create evil. So as evil will happen in the city and the Lord have not done it. So the Lord creates the evil, man. He can allow... He created evil, man. And that's all balance, man. So if evil that happens on the earth, it's the Lord. Because the Lord has done it, man. Because the Lord created evil. He created evil, man. He created peace. He created evil. He created light. He created dark. That's balance, man. So when you see evil happen, man, the Lord is behind it, man. That's a stumbling block for a lot of people to understand. That's a stumbling block. but Because they, they think, figure the Lord just all one side and good, man. No, Lord created evil too as well, man. Zephaniah 3 and 5. Zephaniah 3 and 5. Zephaniah 3 and 5. The just Lord is in the midst thereof. He will not do iniquity. Every morning doth he bring his judgment to the light, and he faileth not. But the unjust knoweth no shame. So the unjust was just the wicked, they know no shame. So the Lord is a righteous God, man. In everything he does, even in judgment, man. Let's go to 11, um, Ecclesiasticus, um, Ecclesiasticus 11 and 14, or Sirach 11 and 14. Let's go to that one, too. I'm going to read 14 and 15. Prosperity, adversity, life and death, poverty and riches come of the Lord. Wisdom, knowledge, understanding of the law are of the Lord's love and the way of good works are from him so all these things are good all these things are good and they come from the lord man so prosperity when you um abundance and you're doing good adversity hardship life and death poverty when you're poor riches all come from the lord man and this all equates to the balance too as well just like in um isaiah 45 and 7 man. wisdom and knowledge all these things, understanding of the law, that all comes from the Lord, man. So if you're rich and poor, that all comes from the Lord because the Lord. If the Lord bless you to be rich, that comes from the Lord. If the Lord bless you not to be rich, that comes from the Lord. Everything is balanced, man. Scriptures are speaking, speaking clearly.
go to one more. Go to one more. She lost it. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life and Hamashiach our Lord. That being said, this is something short. I want to give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yosha Bashim Rakatadash. The water for listening. And I hope it helps in some way. Shalom. Thanks.